There's a time in every kid's life when height requirements in Disney World feel like the biggest hurdle to overcome in their life. Well, today, instead of talking about what kids can't ride, we're going to focus on the best of the best rides for kids in Walt Disney World. Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Today we're talking about the best rides for kids in Walt Disney World as decided by you. We polled our social media audience and pulled reviews straight from AllEars.net to find out which rides your kids love in Walt Disney World. Your number four pick for best rides for kids in Walt Disney World is Haunted Mansion in Magic Kingdom. When our team found out you picked this as the fourth best ride for kids in Walt Disney World, the conversation quickly switched from everyone being surprised to everyone talking about how young they were when they first rode it. As adults, it's hard to remember sometimes just how awesome it was when we were allowed to experience spooky things as kids. And the fact that there's no height requirement on this true classic means you can ride it at any age. Disney Diaries said, My three-year-old cousin was cracking up the whole time, while on the other hand, her five-year-old brother was on the verge of crying. This is a Magic Kingdom classic and opening day attraction. My family can't go to Magic Kingdom without riding this. You must ride this. I adore the Haunted Mansion. It's an all-time classic at the Magic Kingdom. Now, it is probably a little too scary for some kids, but when I was little, I loved going on it because I felt really cool going on a grown-up ride. As a little kid, this was my max level of spooky, so it was the perfect amount of thrill for me as a child. Also, if you are up for an early morning haunt, this is a great ride to hit up first thing in the morning because most people are heading right over to Mine Train or Splash Mountain. You're likely going to get a pretty short wait. Who doesn't love an early morning haunt? Well, the truth is your kids might not, and that's okay. While you voted for this ride as one of the best for kids, a lot of your reviews warn it might be scary for some kids. It was for mine, so please keep this in mind. The classic Disney magic is truly alive, but well, we're dead in this one. The effects, while having mostly been designed for the original Disneyland version way back in 1969, are still hauntingly realistic by today's standards. So if your kids love spooky things, definitely take them on this amazing ride. If they scare easily or are afraid of the dark, definitely don't feel obligated to bring them on it just because other people said their kids love it. A reviewer named Disney Girl 13 said, this is one of my favorite rides of all time in Disney World. I would recommend this ride to anyone that loves ghosts and is not afraid of the dark. Younger kids might get a bit scared from the dark and the ghosts, but if they're not scared of those things, then they will love this ride. Kirsten and Jake added, one of the best rides in Disney World, great for all ages, great theming, awesome technology, a great mix of spooky and funny, and has an awesome queue. This ride is a must do. I've never been a big fan of spooky, but even when I was younger, I loved the Haunted Mansion. The pros. We've heard your comments saying that the word classic is used too liberally when describing attractions in Disney World, but this is a ride whose history really adds to the experience for adults, while kids love it for its spooky but fun effects that really stand up to the test of time. Even those who warned that the line gets long for this said it moves quickly due in part to the ride system that doesn't stop for people to board, unless someone needs assistance, in which case it slows down and eventually does stop if it needs to. You told us that some kids in your family can't get enough of this ride, while others got a little freaked out, but overall you told us this ride was just the right amount of chills to keep your kids engaged and really believing in the magic. The cons. You told us that not only kids could be scared of this ride, but shared how some of you adults actually feel uneasy. Just know that while nothing jumps out at you or touches you, this ride is dark. Though you told us it feels like it moves quickly and that the interactive queue gives your kids lots to do while you wait, you warned us about long lines nonetheless. And like Morgan suggested, consider this as a ride you go to first thing in the morning before the line gets really long. 
A lot of you complained about getting stuck on this ride. Intermittent stops are part of the design, enabling cast members to assist guests who need a little time and help to board. Rarely does this last more than a couple of minutes, but it can feel longer if you're in complete darkness or in the middle of one of the spookier scenes. Your pick for the number three best ride for kids in Disney World is... It's a small world in Magic Kingdom. Originally designed for the Pepsi-Cola company to benefit UNICEF at the 1964-65 New York World's Fair, the original version of this ride sits in Disneyland to this very day, and was also one of the opening day attractions when Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom opened on October 1st, 1971. The children of the world host you on this whimsical boat ride through international waters as you are surrounded by dancing dolls, animals, and flowers, singing a signature Sherman Brothers earworm, It's a Small World. Go Rangers 23 said, My family absolutely loves this ride. There are beautiful audio animatronic dolls from many different countries, as well as quite a few colorful animals. There's so much to look at. My three sons were absolutely mesmerized by it when they were younger. It doesn't seem like a trip to Disney if we can't ride it while we're there. It's a must do for us. For me, the song never gets old. I love it. Small World is super fun and captivating, but be prepared to hear that catchy tune for the rest of your day. Small World is an obvious classic and just an absolute rite of passage for any first time Disney World visitor. The catchy tune, the bright colors, everything will just absolutely keep your kid entertained. This one is filled with imagery that will appeal to even your youngest family members. Plus, this is a ride Walt himself created with legendary Disney artist Mary Blair. So the history component makes it especially compelling for diehard Disney fans of all ages. A reviewer named Peter Pancakes, okay, now I'm hungry, said, my favorite ride of all. How can you not love Small World? This ride makes my heart so full and happy. While an anonymous reviewer gave us a side of constructive criticism along with their praise saying, I love It's a Small World so much. It's been my favorite ride my entire life. The colorful sets and songs are stunning and makes me happy every time. It's also calm and it's a great first ride for kids. They will love it. But adds, needs a refurbishment, the lighting is dim, and the walls desperately need a repaint. It's a small world, an absolute must for your kids, especially your little ones are gonna love it because of the song and the bright colors, and you're gonna love it because you're gonna remember when your parents took you on it. It's, it's a Disney Rite of Passage. The pros. Many of your reviews use the word beautiful to describe the sets, costumes, animatronics, and music. This is a great way to talk to your kids about diversity and help them be aware of different cultures. Mary Blair and Walt Disney's own creation, this replica of the 1964 World's Fair classic stands as enduring entertainment for children of all ages to this very day. The cons? Okay, maybe we don't fully agree with this, but a number of your reviews mentioned the Sherman Brothers theme song for this getting stuck in your head in a bad way. It's a Disney World opening day attraction. That also means it's now 50 years old. Disneyland's version got a makeover a number of years ago with the addition of favorite Disney characters in Mary Blair's signature style and in their continent of origin. So some of you are calling for a similar overhaul on the Walt Disney World version. This is a slow boat to nowhere. If taking a break from thrills and cruising a lazy river through scenes of singing dolls doesn't sound like your cup of tea, we could see how it could be hard to prioritize this, but trust us, your kids will love it. Your pick for the second best ride in Disney World for kids is Frozen Ever After in Epcot. Wait, do we even need to explain why this is a great ride for kids? I mean, I guess that's the point of the show, but come on, it's a frozen ride. Located in the Norway Pavilion in Epcot, you'll board a wooden ship and set sail through the Kingdom of Arendelle, catching glimpses of Anna, Elsa, Olaf, Kristoff, and more in this charming boat ride with some impressive animatronics that bring these animated characters to life in a bold new way that will astound your kids. And Peggy 51 said, Yay, I love this ride. The ride queue is cute. It's really refreshing on a hot day. The animatronics are really cool. It's like Elsa and Anna are right in front of you. Elsa takes my breath away. 
The backwards drop is tame, not anything like Everest if there are any concerned parents. I'm a teenager and I really enjoy this. I guess it's a little late now for a spoiler alert, but yes, the ride does go backwards at one very cinematic peak of the story. It's a very cool effect left over from the cult favorite Maelstrom ride that this one replaced. A reviewer named Merewolf explained, I like Frozen, but then I liked Maelstrom, its predecessor. I think the Frozen retheme really makes this appeal to far more people though, and it's very, very seldom that there isn't a long line waiting for it. The ride itself is a boat ride with several drops and familiar songs, and the animatronics have projected faces which are cool and makes them look very much like they do in the movie. Whether or not your kid is a Frozen fan, they're gonna love this ride. Even the queue is really fun, so make sure that you say a yoo to Oaken, who you will find in line. Who doesn't love Frozen? Your kids will love seeing Sven, Olaf, Anna, and Elsa, and everyone else from Arendelle. Plus, the drop on the ride is the perfect amount of thrilling for small ones. There is a small drop on this attraction, about the same height as the drop on Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's not as steep or in complete darkness. So while it's not as scary, you can still expect a bit of a splash. The line does get very long for this, definitely among the longest in Epcot, and it often wraps around outside before you can get into the air conditioning, and there's not much shade, if any. Still, if you have kids, this is not a ride you should skip. Frequent reviewer Meg Yavowich told us, one of my daughter's favorites, great combination of a relaxing boat ride and animatronic show with a little drop thrown in for the thrill seekers out there. The songs are cute and catchy, all around pretty good ride. I don't think it's quite worth the super long lines it can sometimes have, but other than that, I really don't have much negative to say about it. Pro tip, Epcot stays open later than the other parks, which may be after bedtime for many. So the lines for Frozen Ever After might get much shorter in the last two hours the park is open. Keep an eye on the wait times on your My Disney Experience app, especially towards the end of the day, and hop in line as soon as you see those wait times start to drop. The pros. What kid doesn't love Frozen? Anna and Elsa do not disappoint in this modern dark ride, and all your little one's let it go dreams are guaranteed to come true. For the most part, this ride is relaxing and charming, but there are a few lightly thrilling moments with the ride system that are a great introduction to more thrilling rides for your little ones. The Elsa Matronic looks real. She'll look real to your kids, and you may even question your own sense of reality. I mean, it's, it's really Elsa. The cons. This is a unique style of ride for Epcot, so come expecting competition. Everyone will be in line for this at some point during the day. This is not a ride on which people anticipate getting wet, but it does happen, and yes, I can vouch for that. You couldn't go anywhere without hearing Let It Go a few years ago, and while we're huge Adina Menzel fans ourselves, we get why getting this song stuck in your head would be annoying. And your pick for the number one best ride for kids in all of Disney World is Peter Pan's Flight in Magic Kingdom. An opening day attraction in the fantasy lands of both Disneyland and in the Magic Kingdom in Disney World, this is a rail suspended dark ride, meaning that the ride vehicle you sit in is actually hanging from an overhead track. This creates the very realistic illusion of flight as you soar over some of the various scenes from the animated film, including a view of the London skyline at night that will amaze adults just as much as children. Dr. Seeker's Dino Puppet said, I believe this to be the best overall experience in Magic Kingdom. Back in the day when the queue was metal stanchions and chains weaving you outside the attraction, it was a fast pass or bust attraction. Now, with the queue recently renovated within the past few years, I actually enjoy waiting in line more than the actual attraction. You get to walk through the Darling House and play with Tink along the way. It immerses you in a way this attraction never used to. And flying over London never gets old. Must do. In 2015, the regular queue for Peter Pan's flight in Magic Kingdom was completely renovated and added several interactive elements to the wait area. These include a special effect where Tinkerbell flies through the room, shadow bells that hang over your head that you can actually hit with your hand and hear real bell sounds, and shadow butterflies that you can try to catch with your hands. A lot of your reviews say that you like the new queue line 
almost as much as the ride itself and that it really magnified the magic of the overall experience. As a little kid, this was the ride that I wanted to go on every single time. Even today, going over that London sky, it is just, it gets me every single time. The line for this does get pretty long, so I would recommend going in the morning first thing or a little bit later on in the day to try and hit a bit of a shorter wait time. I love Peter Pan's flight. This is definitely nostalgia level 100 for me. This is one that I remember riding as a little kid. I loved soaring over Neverland and I still love riding it as an adult. And I especially love when the cast member sprinkles the pixie dust on it and closes your lap bar. At only two minutes and 45 seconds long, this is definitely one of the shorter rides in Disney parks, while consistently having some of the longest wait times in Magic Kingdom. This is another great ride you might consider starting your day with or trying to grab a fast pass when they return. But if you do end up in a very long line for it, your kids will be very entertained by that new magical cue. A reviewer named Scon8807 said, This ride takes you back to your childhood through the original Peter Pan animated movie. The wait is typically ridiculously long, but the queue is incredibly immersive and gives lots to do. The pros. You told us this ride, even more than most in Walt Disney World, creates the illusion of real magic for your kids. And let's face it, we still feel it too. There is no question this opening day attraction from Disneyland in 1955 is as classic Disney parks as you will find. This was a revolutionary ride system in 1955 and it's still mesmerizing guests all these years later. Your kids will truly believe they're flying. The cons. You love the new interactive queue and many of you said it's almost better than the ride itself, but this ride is very popular and many of you complained about the long wait lines for it. Once you board after waiting in line, you said it feels like it's time to disembark about the same time you finally settled into the ride. This is a controversial subject because this is such a classic, but the original Snow White dark ride in Disneyland just underwent a refurbishment that includes new scenes. So it's not that far fetched to think that this classic could receive an update too. And that does it for your list of the four best rides for kids in Walt Disney World. What did you think of this list? Did your kid's favorite ride make it on this list? Or did you feel like the best ride for kids was overlooked by your fellow viewers? Head over to allears.net to leave your reviews for everything Disney parks related, hotels, restaurants, rides, and more. You have the power to change this list right now by leaving your own review and who knows, your opinion may be included in a future episode. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned to All Ears TV and All Ears.net for more Disney news. Follow us on Instagram at All Ears Net. New to the channel? Check out our other All Ears videos right up here. And please subscribe to All Ears Net right over here and clang that little notification bell so you immediately get notified when we post a new video. This is Chris for All Ears TV. See you next time.